Yeah, so while my parents served in the military, I lived in Panama, I've lived in Greece, I've lived in Germany, and then inside the US, we lived in Texas and Georgia. And I tell people all the time, I've been called the N-word in so many different languages. So this past month for me has been just a lot of reflection. Um, I reached out to my great aunt, so my grandfather's sister, um, and she has just taught me so much about our roots. Um, it's crazy to know how uninformed I was about my own family. However, I've been doing so much research as far as just things that are happening within the community. And I've realized how important it is to, if you have access to your family history, to gain that. So I've learned about basically how people think, you know, we're so far removed from slavery. However, my grandparents, grandparents were slaves. And then on the other side, they were sharecroppers and they were able to get ahead after each season. And they became basically the bane of other uh, plantation owners. Um, so with that excess money, they were able to go ahead and buy a horse and buggy. After a while, they were told that they owed a debt um, mysteriously. Of course, it wasn't a real actual debt. And they were forced to give up their horse and buggy and also escape in the night because they were afraid of their actual lives being taken. So they ended up traveling up north towards the Midwest, and that's how that side of the family got into Illinois. And to think also with that horse and buggy, how they could have used that to get even more ahead, and that was taken from them. So basically their livelihood um, was stripped from them. And to wonder where that side of the family would have been if they were able to keep that property. Learning about my history helped me feel more empowered. So like I said, just knowing that if they were able to accomplish all that they had accomplished with those barriers, with racism, with people that were willing to steal from them, and they nothing could stop them. They still wanted a better life. They still wanted a better life. They still wanted an education. Um, I understand that if they were able to accomplish that back then, there is nothing really stopping me. So even if I am still dealing with systemic oppression, if I'm still dealing with police brutality, if I'm still just dealing with racism at the store, just in the streets, I know that I, that's not gonna stop me from doing what is really in my heart that I wanna achieve. My name is Michaela Schmidt and I've been with the San Antonio Spurs for five seasons.